Hey everybody, happy uh, Saturday. Happy Sunday, I guess, if you're watching this the day it comes out. It's Slay the Spire. And um, it, it appears my streak of not being able to get the popper bonus for no rare cards will continue. <laughs> now that I see that we have Shiny, your starting deck is replaced with one of every card. Cards are not restricted by character. Lots of elites. Can I tell you? This seems like a, a series of daily modifiers that are not bad for me. We won yesterday, but 855, it's, uh, it's not a great score. So today, let's see. We're, we're formulating our strategy. A bit of a backslide yesterday, but again, you know, like different play styles will uh, uh, benefit on some days and it'll work to your detriment on other days. So what we want to see here, we, we're not going to worry about Popper at all. That's a gimme. Um, I think it would be nice if I could get to five curses, not being able to do that last time. Oh, oh, I see. I see now. So because it, we have diverse... It's one of every rare from every character, except the Watcher. Which I don't really understand why, but I'm not mad, because I don't even know what the Watcher's rares do. Um, well, this certainly makes things interesting. Let's look at Elites. We got two. That'll be three and two. I think we got a, we got a four Elite Path. We have a four elite path on the left. Three elite paths just about everywhere else. I don't know. It's testing it's testing my my pattern recognition right now. Um I'm gonna it's not very question mark rich. That's that's what's getting me going here. I think it's important, okay? I think we gotta do this. We go to this question mark. This is just so we can get enough question marks. We go here, 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 here. Like, we're only going to get a few question marks on this floor. That's if we live to begin with. Because I don't really know uh, how this deck will work. So bullet time is, is pretty sweet. Creative AI is good. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with Nightmare. I don't really want the vulnerability. I think I guess we'll just Phantasmal Killer. And we'll get, I don't know, 17 of those next time. At some point, we're supposed to do damage. This this I know is true. Uh, I feel like maybe, as much as I would like a potion, I think you play Die, Die, Die. And then maybe like... Oh, yeah, I, I think you can do this. I think you play Die, Die, Die. Phantasmal Killer and then an Alchemize. <laughs> Doing double damage every turn is, is definitely pretty decent. Okay, there we go. Probably could have done better. Maybe there was like a rare we could have used um, to, to get some advantage. I don't know. I feel like uh, AoE is probably going to be at a premium. All Out Attack is a pretty good card. I don't know what we're doing at this shop early. We, we basically just have to be here. I, I think I'm just going to... I think I'm going to I think I'm going to buy two potions. You know why? It's probably too much. But we're going to buy two potions to help us out on this elite fight. This is wonderful. Okay. Now we got two curses already in a deck that's if we're being honest like pretty strong. Um I I definitely feel like corruption in this deck is uh, maybe like the best card. Obviously, we could have gotten a kill with Die, Die, Die. But being able to play all... I was going to say it's good to play all your skills for zero. Then I was like, we don't have skills. But then I was like, you know what? I think we do have skills. <laughs> I, I think I don't know what I'm talking about. I think that there are definitely rare skills. Would you go ahead and give me a sucker punch on this one? Okay, we, want, we wanted AoE elites there. Without AoE elites, here's what we're going to do. Pop the Strength Potion. I really want to get... Um, I really want to get Perfects. I think it's going to matter a lot. So Wraith Form, I think, it's is sadly just not the right play. So we'll just play uh, Machine Learning here. We get two extra card draw per turn. like to set up something a little bit more potent here. I mean, Fiend Fire is, is really good. It's going to do 9 times 6, which is 54 damage. Um, 
I mean, this would do 20. I, I, it's hard, you know? I, I really... I think we have to play Echo Form. Because the setup there is so much better. And then I'm like, uh... You want to seek something that will destroy. Played as the first card. I do... I mean, Malaise is up there, right? You also... I mean, hold on. Just take an Offering. Use Offering. Get Fission out of your hand. Uh, I know we... Maybe we shouldn't have done that now that I think about it, but... I'm, I'm just trying to think about the best way to get this done. Like, do I want to open with 54 damage knowing I'm not going to have... Yeah, yeah, you do. I mean, I th I can't believe I'm even thinking about it now that I think about it. Because <laughs> now we just need to get to 18 block or kill you. I don't know if I can get to 18 block or kill you. I can definitely weaken the crap out of you. I was kind of hoping, you know, maybe at some point there would be a block involved on uh, on this, but uh, you know, what do I know? Uh, let's let's think about this. Electrodynamics will channel four lightning. So one and then 24 damage. That's not as good as I would like it to be. This would do 24 damage to discard. I'm trying to... What if we have a double after image? We'll get to one block. Like, two block. <laughs> I'm trying to see, can we get to 18 block? And I'm, I'm pretty sure the answer is, like, a heavy no. Um, but with weak, we'd only have to get to 12. You're going to laugh at me, okay? And I, I think maybe you should, but I, I think the way that we get to a perfect tier... We're not going to do enough damage to kill you. So the only way that we get to a perfect tier is by playing enough cards to, to get there. Um, and we, we could maybe... I think we're going to definitely play this for sure. So 13 block. How are we going to get there? Alchemize is not going to get us there. I think you... you or sorry. Um, Malaise is not going to get us there. I think you play an Alchemize, which then gives you another potion here. Okay, which then gives you Adrenaline. Which then gives you Adrenaline. Which then gives you a bullet time. And all of a sudden, wouldn't you know it, <laughs> um, if, if I'm being honest, possibly the actual most impressive play of at least the Slay the Spire Renaissance. That was, uh, that was surprising to me. I feel like we, we hit a, a nice little window there that's gonna be, that's gonna be very helpful. Um, these are rares, obviously, like, I, I mean, I think you just, we really do like creative AI, don't get me wrong. Let's get some smithing going here, and, uh, <clears throat> I think we, the best thing to do is probably just to smith, uh, things that, uh, help us perfect, right? I, I, I can't believe that we got out of that one. That w that was a lot of luck, don't get me wrong, but also, like, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with myself, to be honest. Draw a core search? Hmm, the thing is, I'd really like a core search. We can do a lot of damage here, though. I think we could probably afford to Berserk. So that Glass Knife is 16, then 32. Uh, then we can either Alchemize or Unload. I think, you, I think you're going to Berserk Unload. We only need to do 12 damage to you next turn on 4 energy. Very doable. In fact, doable without using a potion, which is even better. Fossilized Helix is, like, it's disgusting. It's exactly... Okay. Calipers is nice, too. Um, makes it much easier for us to play Impervious. Which we have, actually, on turn one. Um, but we don't need to play on turn one. Check this out, okay? We're gonna start here. And then... We got some value out of feed. Oh my god, if we can get an Exhum. Seek. Exhum. I'm, I don't know what's going on, okay? I'm not saying we're gonna get the greatest score you've ever seen. Kunai is a great one here. Give me an, give me another feed, yeah. But but like I, I'm feeling like I maybe last night I had like the best sleep of my entire life or something. Like this something about this doesn't feel right. Um in in the best way possible. We will offer here. Why not? Um 
It's unfortunate we're gonna get hit by this, but you know what? What are you gonna do, right? It's not a big deal when you got burning blood. Uh, I guess we'll. Do, have we played an alchemize? We have. Um, we could get an exhum, and then the exhum could give us another alchemize, but no big deal. Fire potion. Cool, cool. Uh, I don't think you need to take a card in every circumstance here. So we have three perfect elite fights so far, which is hilarious. Um, we really don't care about biased cognition. I think we absolutely do care about buffer. Everything else, I don't think we mind. Like, we, I mean, there's there's no value or lack of value in playing biased cognition. So I'm, I'm just going to not play it in the hopes, I don't know, maybe we could somehow pull it out later or something. Um, let's, um... I think I'm just gonna throw the weak potion at you, even though we're probably gonna, like, burn two turns of it, because I think it is sensible to pop Berserk, even though it makes us vulnerable. We might, we might only burn one turn of it. And then something in our discard pile we could use again. If I could make you vulnerable, I wouldn't mind either an Immolate or, uh, or a Glass Knife. And I'm gonna, um... Well, let's leave Limit Break in our discard pile, then. Okay, so it would be nice to wake you up this turn. You... I think you're gonna... We have three buffers. I think we're gonna seek... Um, there, There's some options here. Like, one, one thing you would think is maybe, like, seek uh, Offering for draw. And I do like it, but it does burn a buffer for no reason. Or limited reason, but you know, I think it. Given the draw involved, I think it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna come out okay. So let's do a bullet time. We will do brutality, although that's gonna burn a buffer too. This has the potential to be a, a, a pretty, you know, important turn for us. I think you do take some stuff back into your hand, like. We, we don't have a whole lot of energy. They're not going to be free, are they? Are, are they free? Are Liquid Memories free? You got to tell me if Liquid Memories are free. Let's just take three energy worth of stuff. Because we, we can bring back three cards, right? I mean, if they're free, well... is one card. It's, it's one card. Whatever. We're going to have one buffer. <laughs> Um, this, that's dumb, just for the record. In case you were wondering how I felt about that. Pretty stupid. Uh, I think you gotta play... Let's, let's do, uh, After Image, Echo Form. And I, I still think we're gonna kill you this turn, now that we have, uh, Echo Form out there. This doesn't ruin our perfect, by the way. It probably should. Very, very little slash nothing that costs zero there. Remember, the first thing you play gets played twice. So, uh, both of the things we have available here to play twice are really bad. Uh, or, uh, the only things we have available to play twice are really bad. So we're just gonna take the guaranteed damage, even though it brings nothing back for us. Then we're gonna reboot. We only need to do 15 damage to you. Like, we're, we're gonna get you. We, in fact, we literally just got you. I think we could've just double-tapped you and not worried about it, but th that should be a perfect. Block potion's nice. I mean, I, I got nothing against the Alchemizes. I'm hopeful we can maybe buy a Relic when we get up here. Just a weird draw, quite frankly. Electrodynamics is, is pretty strong, though. Dude, having Fossilized Helix is so good. I actually... I mean, you can laugh all you want. Like, I, I feel like, in spite of the pretty idiotic mistakes I made on the last turn... Um, just give me one of these. Uh, I, I really genuinely do feel like we're angling for like a really great score right now. You should be killable. We want to do feed. We probably, I guess we'll just start with this. And we need to hit you for... You play Alchemize. Okay. Sucker Punch. Feed. Getting close to that HP bonus too. I, I can't remember how much you have to get, but... Um, I, I think, ugh, it's tough. I think that you take the fire potion, personally. And we, we'll basically just buy whatever relic is available, because we, we, we want to get as many as possible. 
At the start of each combat, choose a colorless card to add to your hand. Um, but the fire potion, if we're not quite at the level where, like, we can uh, actually not get hit by the heavy wave on this boss, we can use the fire potion to, to get there. Um, I think, what, like, focus on stuff. What are we seeking a lot of the time? We seek offerings. Um, you know, we play adrenalines, which I guess we could use instead of offering to avoid the buffer cost. Um, let, let's go offering first. Two extra card draw. There's, there's some value there. What do we want? I mean, I give me a metamorphosis, I suppose. I think you got to start corruption here. Skills become exhausted. So we can get a metamorphosis out there, which then exhausts. But we could also exhume a metamorphosis and then shuffle some more stuff in here. You know we're going to reboot. This is kind of exactly what we're looking for. Um, Adrenaline also allows us to hit a seek. Eviscerate is going to be free. Okay, so we could... I, I think you got to, like, burst... Seek. And the dream for me, because we got two seek plays. I think you... I think I want offering. And I think I want... Because that, that's only going to give us two extra energy. I want to get to enough to use um, Echo Form, but I don't think I'm going to get there. Could we do a, a cool double tap Core Surge, double tap Eviscerate? I mean, we could do all that. Bullet time is, is unnecessary. Of course, we do have like Alchemizes and stuff like that. That's tough, man. That's a tough one. Um, you know what? Why don't we seek this buffer? Just remember that the most important thing, even though we did just use something there, but the most important thing for us is just uh, taking no damage. If you can do that, you're going to be super stoked. So we have one energy remaining. Definitely, like, 21 damage getting out there is pretty good. One shiv per cord. Uh, I think here's what you do then. I think we glass knife... That's one dex. Then, that's another dex. Okay, I think that was a solid first turn. I even like this Dark Orb being out here, honestly. Let's uh, see if we can get something fantastic. I think, uh, to be honest with you, like a Sentinel makes a lot of sense here. It is going to exhaust and give us the energy. Brutality loses our buffers, which I think makes it maybe a little bit untenable. I am actually fine to amplify a bias cognition. This dark orb, if we could ever evoke it, is gonna is gonna slap, man. So I don't really want to play the hyper beam then. Even though it does do 26 damage, we're gaining like 14 per turn here. I think we'll pop our block potion. We got enough alchemizers here. This feels like totally fine to me. Um, and we could multicast this orb three times, which would do 72 damage. That just doesn't seem like enough for me. Um, this will take both of our buffers. Is that okay? Yes? I This, this might seem insane. I think you just doppel, man. Go ahead, hit me two times, take my buffers, see if I care. Now you're doing 20 damage. We got 6 energy. Oh, man. If only this was evoked instead of uh, removed right now. But it is what it is. Let's be smart here. Are we likely... You know, I, I'll tell you, I already know we're going to be fine. I think the dream play is you're 25 away. I know how this looks, but just work with me here. I think we just break you like that, so that we can play the maximum amount of malaise on you. Making it more likely for us to perfect in the future. The brain is working overtime right now. So remember, we only... Uh, core search, please. Um, we, we only lose 15 block per turn. So we're actually, like, crushing it right now. I don't want to become vulnerable. Regret doesn't ruin our curse. 
Or are, are, are perfect, I should say. Still got 28 block, which is fantastic. I don't think Grand Finale is going to get too many opportunities to work here. Let's just do a quick bullet time and then, you, you know, you can at least get that stuff out there. Core Surge is nice, too. Now you're doing 0 times 4 damage. That seems pretty good. That seems, that seems sizable. I think I'm just going to Echo for him. <laughs> and at some point, dude, all we need to do is evoke one orb two times. I don't know if that's how that works now that I think about it. Do we want two potions here? We need to do 44 damage to you. Um, here's what I would think, okay? Why don't you just nightmare this alchemize for now? Oh my god, it's going to give us six potions next turn. I forgot about Fiendfire. Or, I sorry, I forgot about... Um, What, the, what am I talking about? Echo form. I forgot about echo form. On the bright side, look at all these potions, man. Oh my, look at this. Okay. We're gonna alchemize twice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can drink this. Um gonna take an escape plan, because every card that we play gives us an after image. I think you could pop some. You know what? You can actually just discard your smoke bomb. Gain four plated armor. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Um, this is not like my finest moment or whatever. I guess we could just... Don't laugh at me, okay? Th this is not losing potions because the potions are infinite to begin with, you know? if As long as you can alchemize that, they're infinite. I love a core surge. No gold, no potions, no intense. We can't... We can't get rid of potions, man. We can't. <clears throat> it's such an integral part of my game plan here. And, and intents are so important to get the perfects as well. So I, we, we, we won't get gold anymore. No more gold. That's fine. We, we were buying relics, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm a simple man. I see four elites with a lot of question marks. And I say to myself, this is our ideal floor right now. Does it get added to your hand or your deck? Into your hand. My god. Um, so there's a real temptation to go Apotheosis, but I'm also like, Hand of Greed is pretty likely to get a kill. We can't get gold anyway. Good point. <laughs> um, okay, I know, I know how we play this. We start with Apotheosis. Then we pop our Energy Potion. Wraith Form comes out. Mm, I thought Wraith Form was Corruption. Can I tell you that? I thought that that Wraith form was corruption. Uh, whatever, you're gonna hit me. Big whoop. Wraith form, not not exactly a great play when you're going up against enemies that just do one damage anyway. These are not elites, so we don't care about the perfects too much. But that was very stupid. Yes, they, they, highly highly dumb. Uh, okay. Well, impervious is kind of. Uh, it's a cheap block in this situation. Call me crazy on this one. What about a bursted impervious? Then we'll still have like tons of block for our next uh for our next turn. And we could always exhume uh if necessary. This would be a great time to get a feed working. Okay, this is because I I think in this situation this is where it gets weird, right? Like I think a meteor strike should do 15, but give us a ton of energy back. Which then allows us to use feet. Okay, great stuff. And then, we, we want to use as many feeds as possible, so we can always seek an exhum. The only question is, does that do enough for us? Probably because we can bring back a liquid memory that it'll cost zero to bring it back. And we could meteor strike you again for 15. We have 10 energy. Just getting you to the position where I'm I'm hoping you're gonna like flip over here. Yeah, that's perfect. Then we'll seek an exhum. Oh, and uh, an adrenaline, I guess. Exhum feed. Use it on you. And you all laughed at me. You remember that part where you were doing the laughing and the ha-has and the so on? 
Well, who do, when I told my friends I wanted to be a stand-up comedian, they all laughed at me. Well, nobody's laughing now. All right, now you got five energy left with one poison. I could just ice you. I'm gonna ice you. Because I was like, we could probably try to find a way to bring back something, but I'd like to bring back a feed specifically, but nah, man, nah. Um, we're just, I, I know that 99 gold is nothing, but we, we really have no desire for this to try to work. Um, I, I guess I should remove a card. Um, we, we have, uh, our deck is too thick to make Ritual Dagger consistently work, is what I'm trying to say. I can feel, like, mentally, it's early, we're slipping here, it happens. T cut Grand fin Finale from this deck, there you go. Now, now we got some confidence back. Ancient T set, Bird-Faced Urn. Bird-Faced Urn is, like, infinite HP right now. Um, Secret Technique is always gonna, is always gonna slap for you here. So hear me out. I'm I'm a big believer in the idea that uh, oh I, we don't have an impervious. Never mind. <laughs> Disregard. Um, I'm I'm still I'm a big believer in this case in like adrenaline. I, I think we have a, no. We played apotheosis. That's why we had an upgraded one. Um, and I'm just I'm just chunking the numbers. I think we're always gonna like a, a juggernaut. Yeah, we could try this. Let, let's do a juggernaut and a corruption. Alchemize then gets played for free. Reboot. Well, we might as well play Limit Break. Reboot we can play. We can then put a bunch of malazes in our hand next turn. Not like that's worth uh, too much for us, but you never know what you're going to draw. And we have a buffer available, so... Yeah, not, not a particularly strong move. We drew no skills except for malaise, which is a... Kind of a kick in the teeth. No zero cost cards. I'd imagine you're probably just destined to lose your buffer here. Sucks. You're so well protected from malaise. It'll really cheese you off, man. Just give me one of those. And, uh. I'm just gonna gain some decks. We did it like that. We can, we can now target an exhum to a feed if necessary. Choose a card to discard. We're never playing Thousand Cuts here. Now, can we, in, in a dream scenario, can we get to you? We could buffer, and then we take no damage to begin with, but can we get to you? You have 51, which is actually 41, which is actually 25. Feeds do 10 each. Three energy. Which is that, that, this kills you. Upgrade cards? No. I think, um... I hate to say it. I think you play it like this. 35. 9. Wait, I, my math was just, like, busted. That They worked out perfectly fine. I'm embarrassed we almost missed it, though. Um, so an elite... I'd rather... Like, the explosive potion is fine. I think I'd rather have a fear potion, though. Um, Glacier is pretty good. Block has been... If, if we have a sore spot, block is the sore spot. <clears throat> I, I, draw is so important for us early on here. Okay. Sure. Uh, let, let's start with an ancient potion. Just think... Oh, you know what? Then we can berserk. Beautiful play. Accidentally beautiful. Hit you with one of those. Juggernaut. Uh, I'm a little skeptical. This takes us to 12 block. I think I'm going to start here with a reboot. Malaise is a good card, but I think I'm going to start with a reboot. I think we can do better. Wraith form. I sleep. Glacier, I'm, I'm not thrilled with, by the way, because next turn is going to suck real bad. Uh, but... It's okay. And we don't play Brutality, because Brutality takes away our buffer, which is way too valuable. Now here, we're definitely going to start with some Adrenaline. And then probably a Shrug. We're trying to really get this going. Uh, um, let's get an Alchemize out there. What is this? Gain one Ritual. Just pop it immediately. 1927. That's a lot of damage. But if we can just get over 19... 
38. And how much are you doing? You're 19 plus 27. We just, if we just get over 19. No, that's not how that's going to work. I still think we don't take damage here. Which is hilarious. Surely, like, Phantasmal Killer is going to be great. I mean, this does 7 damage. That's like an actual slap in the face. Um... I think we're going to be better off with a Juggernaut than anything else here. I think my math is right. You do 19 damage, we'll be at 19. Two hits will be 18. Your final hit will pierce our shields and hit our buffer. So we don't even need to pop the plated armor. Oh, I forgot about the, the Glacier effect. Still totally worked exactly the same way, but... Um, so we have some exhumable cards here. Impervious like seems like a great possibility for me. Um... I just love this card. We're hoping You know what? No, it's fine. You're doing you're doing great. Juggernaut is giving you 5 extra damage per turn here as well. Okay, so you're going to be do you're not doing damage. This is wonderful. I think we could probably be doing a lot better. Um Now I'm not doing that, but that's okay. You know what? Just just doppel me, man. Just give me this super doppel. This is a real feast or famine kind of deck we got going on here. With 10 energy, you have to love corruption here. I think that's just science. Then when you die, do your max HP to all enemies. Give me a free alchemize. Get immolated. We definitely should have limit broke first. You're alive? <laughs> You're going to die though. Okay. Um what if what if we throw in a quick double tap glass knife here? I I knew we were going to get there. It if I'm if I'm being honest, it took me a little longer than I thought it would, but that's another perfect. It's kind of amazing. Uh I mean, I really, I do want a flex potion. I don't know if we need another bludgeon right now. Uh, I don't know though. The four plated armor, it, it it really could come in handy. Like I, I'm I'm feeling great. Can I can I be honest with you? Maybe echo form not being ethereal lets us trigger it easier. But it it's a combo theme deck. You know what the most scary thing is for me right now? The scariest thing in this entire deck for me. <clears throat> is the idea that we're going to end up fighting the timekeeper. Tick tock, tis I. Uh, eh, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a secret technique adrenaline guy, I think. What a turn. Uh, we, we, I think we have to play Wraith form. Like, if we after image. And then. <laughs> Bullet time. Yeah, yeah. Tools of the trade. Die, die, die. Wraith form. And then maybe you're the last one we're likely to kill. And we we, we probably could at this point remove brutality from this deck and, and feel totally okay about it. This seems acceptable. As long as we get some kills in the next two turns. Uh, which is not unreasonable. Uh... Choose a card to discard. It's not going to be offering. We can always just pop the Essence of Steel and be fine. So I think you can dump this Limit Break. Because this is going to take our buffer. And we don't have a block right now, which is a little spooky. However, a Hyper Beam followed by uh, a Storm of Steel. I think it just gets you there. Especially with After Image. Lantern, Explosive Potion. I don't think the Explosive is top tier here. Drawing Corruption faster appeals to me. Now, no matter what... Oh, we can get three Elites if we take the left path here. First combat... First attack each combat does eight additional damage. I feel like I am uh, angling for an unbelievable score. I, I know how it sounds, but I... I genuinely am like, am I am I losing it? Because I feel like I'm, I'm I'm gaining it. 
Uh, buffer is, is so good here. We, we do do 19 damage on our first attack, but I'm also like... You, you know, you want to see if you could maybe draw a better attack, I guess. An artifact is nice. You're doing how much damage? Four? So we And we have a buffer. Um, well, let me see. I'd rather keep my buffer around if we could. So you're doing 22 damage. We need to get to 16 in order to not... Yeah. I think this is a better use of our investment here. And... So that takes us to 22, and you're doing 22. We can Berserk, and all it does is cost us our artifact. I think that was better. And and we can use, uh, I don't know, something to seek. Uh, <laughs> Surely there's a way that we can get this buffer out of our discard pile. I'm not too worried about it either way, but... Sadly, I think uh, an Invenom is probably your play here. I only say sadly because it's like... You know, we got, we got very little going for us on this one. I guess you, you could amplify an Invenom. I hate to do this, by the way. I'm not going to lose a buffer. So I will take my four-plated armor. Um, I, I don't want to lose a buffer, I should say. Let's let's play one Phantasmal Killer. I suppose we could have just malaise the Mad Gremlin. Uh, I'm not really willing to do that when we could do it on the Gremlin Leader instead. But it would have been hilarious, admittedly. Okay, double damage this turn. It's a really good start. Uh, at this point, I do feel like we could do it like this. We want to draw attacks on this turn, for what I assume are pretty obvious reasons. Uh, probably we could vulnerability potion you, at the risk of appearing to be the ultimate coward. I think an echo form still wins here. We'll do 26 damage to you. I know we didn't play our impervious. We're going to take some damage from regret, but that doesn't really count. All we got to do is 48 damage to you on this turn, and you're not even attacking. I don't know if we are going to do 48 damage to you, but I definitely uh, I definitely am going to do 48 damage to you. Right, Cause we, because we played an Echo form. <laughs> not sure if we covered that. Uh, spin the wheel. Honestly, at this point, I would love to add a curse, believe it or not. We're only at two, so we're, we're trending way down. The gold is not helpful. We, we really would love to see, like, Cursed Key from the uh, from the shop. So we've we've perfected everything up to this point. Do you realize that? Not not every enemy, but uh, every every elite has been perfected. It's kind of incredible. I do want a burst offering, honestly, but I know it's going to lose us our buffer. We don't need a buffer, though, because you're doing 32 damage. If we just burst Impervious, we're fine. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start. I'm going to uh, burst Impervious. Corpse Explosion is, is just a dream come true. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll just play it on the unit with the least HP. We can totally play a Brutality now because we've already lost our buffer. Uh, and all we need to do is uh, kill the leftmost enemy and then everything dies here and we get another perfect. So you'd probably be looking at, uh, I hope we can get there. Electrodynamics, hold on, you're at, so you're at 30. Electrodynamics will hit you for 16 plus 3, so 19 plus 5 is 24. We need to hit you for 11. I don't think we need to use any potions. Because you're about to get hit for another 3, which will take you to 24. This will take you to 19. Okay. In that case, I actually do think... We'll do something like that just to be safe. Ice Cream. Very interesting card. I'll take another feed because I naively am hoping that one day that's going to get me there. Secret weapon is, it, it seems like a dream. No block, man. This, it's so funny. Do we have, we have cards that give us draw? I mean, Immolate is just good. A apparently, we can play a Meteor Strike, so... I mean, that's really good for energy and nothing else. I mean, I'll just level with you. I don't really mind it. If you hit me for 10, you, you kind of, you know, you hit me for 10. 
I guess you, you technically would only hit me for five to begin with. But actually, you're going to hit me for ten because of the curse. But this is not really that big of a deal. Uh, dump this. We don't care about Reaper. We, we really want to draw a feed here. This, this is our perfect feed opportunity. Um, it's definitely nice to alchemize this too. We won't be getting any draw. So we might as well bullet time. And I, I like our curses or our, our, our potions, but I think we could always maybe self-select some better ones. We'll get that one out there because we, we know we're not going to want it. Um, all right, I forgot we had double damage this turn. So we definitely should have healed. That's like idiotic, but flex can work. All right. Would have been nice to have like a, a weak potion here. Add X random colorless cards into your hand. They cost zero this turn. I think I think deep breath for some draw here is is quite helpful. Um, let's get some strength. We need to get to six block. Easiest way to do that is like just get an after image out there. We're still not gonna get there. I think this is gonna be our first non-perfect. I can't get to six block. So just go ahead and give me uh, like the core surge effect. That hurts. I don't think the plated armor would have gotten us there, but it but it might have. It might have. With echo form, this is like you're you're screwed. <laughs> and we'll just basically you will never harm me again. We just have to wait for the right draw now. Um, so you're doing 21 damage. That's like honestly kind of hilarious. Second Fiend Fire is not so good, but it, it did make the turn very easy to parse, mentally speaking. Um, hmm. I'm thinking. Uh, we, we have, like, no attacks. So, what would you double up here? Not very much, honestly. We do have, do we, we played an after image, right? Yeah. Let, let's get two Juggernauts out there then. And then we still get the strength bonus from this. I suppose it would have been like an interesting nightmare uh, as well. Um, just just burst up like a double tap. Why not? Again, now that we've taken damage, who cares if we take damage? As long as we're not dying. This was probably just poorly played. Blue candle is nice though. I don't know. At, at that point, I don't know. But so be it. Let's get a better seek. Okay, so our, our perfects have been have been going off. We want to get some alchemizers popping here. I need discovery. Uh, Dark Shackles is good to purge your artifact, though. Ah, discovery, though, man. Discovery is a fun card. It's just fun. Plus, you don't have any artifacts. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not good. Uh, but all that being said... I don't, I don't want to scrape to overdraw stuff we're looking for. So I think you just take a body slam, and if you choose not to play it, then you choose not to play it. Alchemize into a duplication potion. Okay. Let's drink that, and then put a... Uh, two turns of double damage is probably great. Yeah, that, that probably beats... What I was going to do, which was like a Glacier Body Slam times two. <laughs> Wraith form, very interesting, but we, we don't need it yet. Like, it's it, it's too early for it. Um, so we have double damage this turn, but we're not really going to take advantage of that, I think. I think we're just going to bullet time impervious. Uh, I guess we don't mind losing the focus, considering we only get two, two extra block per turn out of it. Might as well evoke it, honestly, because we're getting zero block. Okay. It's good. 27 damage. We're not going to get to 27 block. Essentially, no matter what we do. <laughs> um, so we're, we're going to end up using a buffer on this turn. I think we, we played Juggernaut Fiend Fire. It's not that much damage, but it's it's okay. Now you're doing no damage, so we're safe for a turn. I think you gotta get corruption out there.
It's, it's like, it's more important for us long term. I don't, I don't really care about an amplified bias cognition. Brutality, we can definitely play. I guess we could have amplified brutality. That's absolutely true. Um, we have two artifacts, which is nice. Like, if we draw a flex... How much damage? 14 damage? It shouldn't be that hard to get out in front of 14 damage, right? Like... So I think you, you, you flex... I know what you're thinking, you're like, burst limit break, and it is a lot of damage, but I feel like we have to burst adrenaline. I also feel like we, we should nightmare adrenaline so we get a ton of them for the next turn, but a bursted adrenaline, I, like, I'm, I'm just trying to get this, some way to get some blocks going here, right? So I think a wraith form gets us there. No, it doesn't get us there because we have no block. How is such a thing even possible? Am I am I upset? I'm not, because it's it's just the way the game is played, and I'm not gonna take the vulnerability just because I'm I don't know I guess concerned, but um, it's it's just surprising. I guess that's what it comes down to. It's just it's just a little surprising uh, that after after all of that, that's the best we could do. Like even a single metallicize. I mean, I guess we only recently added that to our deck, but it, it would have done a lot, you know, from this point onwards, essentially. Um, or, or for us like two turns ago or a, a buffer or you know there's any like number of cards that like really would have helped us out Al alas that's not how it went down um, let's pop the speed potion I guess we don't have to because we're not at perfect anymore but so be it uh, just bring back an impervious it's like it's easy enough we're playing a little on tilt here. I'm just being straight up with you. So it's a really good opportunity for a malaise, but do keep in mind that the malaise uh, also... Let's go, man. Um, the malaise also... Well, at this point, why not? <laughs> Uh, is gonna get purged itself. As much as I w uh, that took a buffer away, unfortunately. As much as I wouldn't want it to, I think next turn he like purges all of his debuffs. Yeah, he takes a turn to purge all his debuffs. Not really a huge problem, but still. Probably just like 60 damage out of this. Okay, you're, you're dead and we have full HP, but that was not a perfect. A little painful for me. But, but life goes on. Don't think we need that many more corruptions. Uh, sure, enemies have more strength. We, we need more blocks. That's the big thing. Now, are we there on relics? Like, I think we're close. I don't, I don't know if we're there on question marks. We've been doing great on elites. I think we might want to focus that. I see, like, a four elite path. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four, four elites. Lots of question marks. Four elites. A decent amount. Okay, I'm actually do one, two, three, four, four question marks. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five question marks. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go here then. That's that's how you know I'm in this to win this. Uh, I guess like honestly, the bomb seems like a great card to have against these individuals right here. Let's seek out. Uh, Honestly, like, uh, I mean, I, I don't really care if we take damage here. I think you can seek out an Adrenaline and, uh, like, an Electrodynamics. Now we got eight energy turn one, and we just won the fight. Uh, you just get the buffer out there. Double core surge, like, we're looking pretty good. I think this is our, our new combo, you know, like something like Wraith form popped here. It's just a, it, it's, can I say, it's a bit of a slap in the face? Because like, we, look at that, we're not even able to generate like more than one block. That's not a good sign. <laughs> in general, I, I think... Uh, I think you'll be better off if you could generate, you know, on average, like one block per turn. I think that would help you out. But you know, we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, of course, about our overall run. 
we need our max HP to be as high as possible. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's probably a good sign when you're upset that you uh, didn't perfect a boss, even though you easily won. So I guess I, I can't be too upset overall. Um, and yet, here I, here I go, uh, seemingly finding myself upset for whatever reason, right? It's bizarre. The, the human mind is a bizarre thing. We got a really good thing going here. It, it turns out... Let's just do that. It turns out when you draw um, Corruption on turn one, it really changes the overall timbre of the deck. Now, uh, hold on. This is of the utmost importance. 29. Do my eyes deceive me? That seems like a, a great feed opportunity. Um, did my eyes deceive me? No, they did not. We have Dono Deca, which is a, a beautiful situation. Oh my god, I've been doing this run for 50 minutes. Who would have thought? Not me. 10 damage. I don't know if we're going to... You, you have to Wraith form. Or I'd, I'd like to. Energy potion. Okay, let, let's Wraith form. Um, let me literally just need to find a way to put up one block. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> that's so stupid. Um, Alright, but that's fine. We don't lose our perfect there. Honestly, you're gonna laugh at me, but I think you do this just to give you some extra weakness. Just a block, man. Okay, there we go. Now, we're, we're sitting pretty. You know, this after image into an adrenaline. Into get out of my face. Uh, and forget Pocket Watch. We're not sweating that at all. Corruption is, is a great card for us to play. I'm not sweating that. And then, yeah, yeah. We'll play multicast just because we can. Uh, we got to keep the energy. I was surprised. I thought it would take the energy and give us nothing. So that's good from, from like the ice cream standpoint. You're doing no damage this turn. Wonderful. Let's play our cards that uh, don't do damage first. Fiendfire, unfortunately. Oh, at least it still helped us get to decks. At some point, there's going to be blocks, man. Oh, man, there's going to be blocks. And that's going to change everything. This is really bad for you. <laughs> let's let's take you uh, 11 strength down and add 11 turns of weakness as well. Even though we can't gain dex, this seems okay. All right. Um, typically, probably I would look at this as core surge into berserk. Maybe let's see. Another wraith form is a gimme. I think phantasmal for certain. Give me that Wraith form. I'm just wondering, like, how do I get this damage out there, right? Give me one extra draw per turn. And you know what? While we're here, just, just give me a great doppel next turn. We have Phantasmal Killer. TikTok Mr. Wick. One damage. This is a, As long as we play one card, we're feeling pretty good. Um... We haven't played an Echo form yet. So I, I actually think you, you like amplify buffer and this just buys you more time. Eventually we don't want to buy more time. Uh, that took a buffer. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, eventually we don't want to buy more time. We just want you to like be dead. So I'm, I'm going kind of for broke on this one, I guess. Like I want to take this one in like pretty deep. I think we're going to get you next. Uh, you, we're definitely going to get you next turn. That was a perfect, right? Like, it just... I, I think. <laughs> it just looked horrible. Pair is is nice for us. Offering is good. I, I don't know. At this point, I'm like, maybe after image being innate was something we should have done, like, a long time ago. Because we're really struggling to get those, like, one for turn one blocks and turn two blocks and stuff like that. But, um... I, think, I still think finesse for draw is nice here. Okay, now, now I'm like, mate, we should have done that a long time ago. Burst adrenaline. 
But in spite of, of everything I've, I've said on this run so far, um, I, I genuinely... Wraith form? Mm, sad. Because uh, I, I don't think we're going to get to 21 block here. I genuinely think that this has been an absolutely beautiful run for us. I think we're going to score well. So I just have to say, if we can play seven cards, we're fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we even do that? One, two, three. That'll be, we'll have six energy left. Four, five, six, seven. I think we might be able to do it. That's if you live through this, which I think you will. I'll do you one better. We could just play Demon Form instead. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. We, we Our buffer kept us up there. 46 damage on this one. That's fine, because look at this. My god, I, I, I almost don't believe it. Do my eyes deceive me? I think we'll just pass turn. Doesn't, doesn't really matter either way. And can I just say that's maybe like the fastest I've ever had a situation where I was proven correct about something in my entire life? Like that that innate uh, afterimage basically saved us there. Molten Egg is a little too little too late, but it's kind of funny. Okay. Um, I'll still I'll go with the weakness here. Certainly like an afterimage. There's a lot to like there. I know I could, I mean, I, I guess we still, oh, we can't play that, that's right. Anyway, whatever, there's there's a decent amount of damage turn one, we preserved our buffers. You're doing 10 damage, that's not that spectacular. We love an Echo Form. We love an Alchemize. The question is, do we like a Wraith Form? Yes, because mostly because there's more than one in the deck. So we, we don't have to kill you, like, turn three in order to feel safe. I will say, I think we'll... Mm. I don't mind losing my buffer to get things popping. So we're going to lose the buffer. We can just pop Brutality. I don't know if that was the right way to do that now that I look at it, but... Okay, uh, I mean, we got some really good stuff here. We don't want to screw up our draw ability, so we're not going to play that yet. But we will play a Meteor Strike, which buys us some time, pays for itself. Another Alchemize in the Vulnerability. Um... We should be able to... Uh, not yet, maybe. In Venom, then we can offer without overdrawing. Fission is okay. It's a slow enabler for us, at least. More decks. All right, now we can start to think about... <laughs> like, bullet time. Go ahead, give me Bias Cognition. There's some extra lightning for you. Barricade's okay. And then the question is... Do we want Malaise? Or do we want Doppelganger? I think Malaise is, is your safest bet. We have no buffers, but they're not doing any damage. For whatever reason. Um, give me... Uh, again, it may be insane, but give me four buffers? Yeah, it's insane. Uh, insanely good. <laughs> And give me Wraith Form again. And I know that we didn't do anything that turn, but four buffers. This guy doesn't do multiple attacks, so we're, like, actually beyond set, I think. Uh, give me a Super Impervious. That again, protects us for a long time. I can't... Do we, we did play Barricade, all right. And then, like, I'm a, I'm a believer of, like... I guess we'll Corrupt. Pop Strength. Get another Potion slot. Multicast for nothing. But then I'm like, a double tap sucker punch is going to do some pretty good damage. We still got two buffers up and we're going to have 90 block. That seems acceptable. Phantasmal killer uh, times two. That was not necessary. I think I can just hit you. I don't know if it's going to kill you. Next turn, though. Oh, you're in a great spot for a feed. Yeah, 42 damage. Look at that. Burst has been paying dividends, man. I will fight you for a, a, a rare relic. I absolutely will. Core Surge equals we play Flex, by the way. Just keep that in mind. 
Um, so we'll probably try a burst master strategy here. It'll work. Echo form is is insane. It's just the question <laughs> of like whether or not we could do this cuz the most important thing is can we play like seven more cards? And I think we probably could. But I'm also I don't know, do you count as an elite? Maybe yes, maybe no. Hear me out here. I kind of want to like redraw Everything but Reboot and Echo Form. So we could Core Surge Flex, but I, I guess I'd rather save it for the next Elite. Um, Impervious does a lot. I, I think you Echo Form, then Impervious is beautiful. You might as well Reboot. I was gonna say we're trying to draw into something like Adrenaline. Now, like, whatever we do, I'm just, I'm happy with it, but just get that out there. All right, that, that went totally fine. I, I'm realizing that a lot of our success is just predicated upon being able to play our buffers. Um, like here, for example, a, a, a double buffer. It, we're not even going to play Offering, but just having that double buffer, like, makes this turn... It, it basically bought us a free turn of not being afraid of anything. Um, I don't really care about Regret here. I'm just going to bring back, like, another... Impervious and Adrenaline, which I, I, again, Impervious basically does the same thing for us that the buffers did. At some point, we would maybe like to hit you with an attack, but it does, it, it only has to happen now on this turn. So we got 24 strength, 28 damage to all enemies. Pretty solid. Pretty, pretty standard, really. We still have a buffer, so like you're, you're just toasted, man. Maybe a feed, hypothetically, a, a hypothetical feed. You know what? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take that as a positive. Tungsten rod. Uh, fear potion is really good, but we gotta make a choice at some point, I guess. Dude, getting master of strategy right off the bat is so nice. Okay, so what do we like? Usually like echo form, basically no matter what. Uh, I, I do like an impervious. Yeah, I think we can just do that. I know we're going to have the extra 10 damage every turn, but at least this starts us off on the right foot next turn. So losing a buffer to play offering sucks, but has to... Oh, no, that's actually fine. Uh, it sucks that we overdrew, but... Um, let's, uh, let's get a Dex out there. A Dex, uh, the old Dex and Flex. I'm gonna amplify a Wraith form, just, just to get insane. Um, a Skill Potion, get one of these out there. So you're doing one damage. We probably still take ten from that, which, which is unfortunate, but... I don't know. I, 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 everything lagged for a second. It was kind of hard to tell. Not a great draw, for the record. We played an Echo Form? Yes. Having played an Echo Form, why don't you just give me two of those, then? Very good. Ve very, very, very good. I don't think we need a feed now. That's... Like, I, I'm sure we could get away with it. <laughs> like, without a doubt. But I, I, I think it's probably, at this point, not uh, strictly necessary. And we, we must have, like, the skill, the cap for getting over whatever we needed. Um, and again, we don't need any of those. Okay, man, one hour, four minute long run. This is unexpected. I'm not, I'm not upset, but un unexpected. This is great. So you can just core surge. Should definitely play this first, but um, now we got that extra strength. Really should have hyper beam. I guess it doesn't matter if we did it first, but it's it's the principle of the matter. Can always burst an alchemize. Now I realize that was not uh, 
you know, the, the timing was a little scuffed, but it, it happens. There goes our buffer, but it's still, I mean, this is what we planned for. Lots of energy on this turn. Adrenaline's always nice. Uh, we can flex. We can get a little buffer going. Phantasmal, I suppose we might as well barricade. And then you know what? Nice little doppelganger turn next time. The turns are very feast or famine here. You cannot harm me. So you love to see that. Corruption into Alchemize. Um, just don't think it's a very good potion, unfortunately. Body slam for 21. Now, how, how, oh, I had the energy back from Nunchuck. I could have easily killed you, but it doesn't matter because that's another perfect in the bank. Okay. Finally. Uh, okay, Dead Branch. It, that, that certainly makes things interesting. <laughs> uh, I guess we can make Corruption a little cheaper so that we don't miss it if we get it on a draw target or something like that. All right. Early Corruption. Uh, it does a lot for us here. Didn't get it turn one. That's okay. Let's get let's get after image. Let's get a panache. Let's draw that. Um, let's uh, look at a skill potion. I think a glacier is just beautiful for us here. Let's get an alchemize out there. Upgrade all the cards in hand for the rest of combat. I'm gonna do it um, mostly because we have a lot more coming. The malaise, unfortunately. I mean, it, if we play the malaise for one, it gives us, like, the same value. So I think we do this. Then we just look at a multicast. S 30 extra block, actually. Oh, we could play a Vrzero, and we still get to take away all your uh, your artifacts there. That's, that's actually wonderful. So we got a really nice setup with our buffer available here. No corruption still, but it, it's actually totally fine. Um, I think a Wraith form is up there. I think a core surge is up there, and I think a corpse explosion is just gonna shred here. I'm I'm more optimistic that we're gonna get the perfect than that we're not gonna get the perfect now. Okay, we got our corruption, which is what we needed really. You have to play it, but if you play meteor strike first, you get your energy back, which means technically we probably should have played our flex first. But but whatever, it, what's done is done there. Um, so we're, we're now in Dead Branch Corruption, which is also known as the Comical Zone. <laughs> I don't even know what I want you to put back into my hand, quite frankly, uh, for, for zero. Uh, I mean, I guess a glass... Oh, it's not for zero if it's not a skill, but Glass Knife is still pretty good. There's not really a need to cold snap you. I'm kind of a believer in, in the idea of like a storm of steel now. Definitely should have shockwave first. Definitely should have crippling clouded first. I mean, it's over, right? Like it's it's over, over? Wow. Um, I, I think we might have gotten like a 1400 point score. 1460? I, we're on the, we're on the top 10. Let's look at this real quick. I think we're in the top 10. We climbed all the floors. We slayed 10 enemies, two points each. Killed uh, four elites, five elites, four elites. Three bosses, lots of relics, 50 points. Four cop, we had one collector bonus. We had the 50 card deck bonus. We increased our max HP. We beat 12 elites perfectly, two bosses perfectly. Dealt 99 damage in a single attack and played 20 cards in a single turn. It's one of the best daily scores I've ever had. Oh, oh, we're not on the front page. <laughs> 160, okay, it's a little bit worse than I thought we did, but still very good. I think we could have gotten another 50, just perfecting the second boss. So let's see if, if we had gotten to like 1510. We would have been in the in the top 100, but still a long daily, fun daily. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya.